everyone, Piano Man Chuck here. I'm here with the Nord Stage 2 today. And unlike my previous videos where I've kind of given demos and tutorials on entry level and intermediate pianos, today I'm going to focus on what's considered by many to be the top of the line of Rolls Royce of stage pianos, the Nord Stage 2. And rightfully so. Now, I've played a lot of pianos, both acoustic and digital pianos, and I can tell you that nothing comes close to sounding as authentic as a Nord Stage 2. And when I bought this piano, the best piano sample they had on here was supposedly the Bilsendorfer Imperial Grand 290, which, if you sat down and closed your eyes and played, it sounded almost like you're playing a real Bosendorfer Imperial Grand 290. Their Steinway, the Lady D, was also a very convincing piano sample as well. And a year after I bought it, because of Nord's policy of making free um, samples available to all stage our Nord stage owners in the future, I got a Fazioli Italian Grand Piano, which by far is probably their best piano sample to date. It sounds so convincing. And that's what I was playing right now, the Fazioli Grand. And basically, a stage piano by definition is something you could take on stage, play with a band, or by yourself, even at a concert or whatever. And have some sort of control over the piano as you play it. Also with MIDI controls so you can control other devices and so on and so forth. But with the Nord, I can shape the sound on the fly, unlike any other piano. I mean, it looks like the cockpit of an airplane when you first look at it with all these million knobs and buttons. And by the way, the uh, construction of this this is metal. It's solid. Unless it gets hit by a car, nothing's going to happen to this. The buttons and knobs, first rate. If you go to a music retailer who has one of these in stock, play around with it, and you'll find that it is just a built like a tank. Nothing's going to happen to it. The keypad action, it's pretty good. I like a heavier action personally. Um, chord chronos that I have, I like that action better, but this action being a little bit lighter is more kind of like the grand pianos I play when I play out at a place that already has a grand piano. So let me co cover a couple of things here about how I can shape the sound. Right now that's with a little bit of reverb on, but without reverb. Now let me turn reverb on, and there's six types of reverb. Room one, room two, stage one, stage two, hall one, hall two. And of course, room one being the smallest amount, hall one being the biggest amount. I can control the amount of reverb that I can get on any of these. First, let me select, say, hall two, which is the most. And right now, everything's off. If I turn it on, I can get a tremendous amount of reverb, and I barely, barely turned the dial on this, and I'm getting all this reverb. Okay, now, compressor, everyone knows what a compressor is, uh, basically makes it sound louder, but it kind of it, it grates on your nerves if you listen to it for too long, but if I turn the compressor on, can see how that works as I'm using it as on the fly. And I have an effects section where I can control auto pan, tremolo, room, a wah-wah, an automatic wah-1, an automatic wah-2. 
I can control a phaser one and two, a flanger, a vibrato, a chorus one and two. I can control a delay, and not only can I control the delay, if it doesn't fit with what I'm doing, I can tap tempo it, tap tempo it so I can set the amount of delay. Then we've got some amp simulators over here where I can control what kind of amp I want to go through. And it's labeled JC, small, uh, and twin. And I can control the EQ very easily, treble, mid, and bass. And as far as the mid goes, I can set with this knob the frequency of what range I want to control, anywhere from 200 to 8 kilohertz. Now, the mid-range and the treble and the bass controls themselves will control from minus 15 to plus 15. I also can control the drive as well. Now, for each of these, the way the Nord is laid out, I've got four sections here, or zones. First is an organ zone, and I'm not an organist from what my understanding is about organs. They've got a really good organ here, and people love this organ. And I've got a piano zone, and I've got a synth zone, and I've got an external zone if I want to control an external device. And I can control double the amount of what's on here, two organs, two pianos, two synths, and so on. Layering sounds. With most keyboards, you have to go to a registration or a page setting and set the particular parameters that you want to set for whatever instrument you have set for that zone. For this, notice I'm playing piano right now. And if I want to add a little synth pad to that, all I need to do is turn on the synth. And I can control how much synth or how much piano. Simple, right? And I have control of each of these things. So let's turn off the, well, actually, let's keep the synth on. So I've got piano with synth. And if I turn the organ on, now I've got three instruments here. Now, here's a cool thing. Let me just turn off the synth. And let's keep the piano on. Let's turn off the organ. Everybody knows with what a Leslie or a rotary speaker is all about. And it's usually used with organs. But have you ever heard a piano going through a rotary speaker? Probably not. You can do that with this. You can send a synth through the rotary speaker. You can send the organ, the piano, whatever you want. Let's demonstrate. Right now, this is just a piano with a bit of reverb on it. Now, let's turn on the rotary speaker. Right now it's set for organ. Let me set that for piano. I got a piano going through a Leslie a rotary. How cool is that? This is slow. Let's set it for fast. Let's control how much. Unreal, huh? Anyway, this has been a short introduction as to what you can do with the Nord Stage 2, and I'm barely scratching the surface of this, but the thing that I want to emphasize the most is the realism and the authenticity of the piano samples here. Unbelievable. And unlike most of the uh, other manufacturers, you get free sample updates for life. Like I said earlier, when I bought this, I didn't have a Fazioli piano on here. I since added it about a year later because they added that to the free sound library. So basically I'm future proof as far as sounds or samples or patches go. Anyway, there'll be more about this in a future video. In the meantime, Piano Man Chuck, peace out. Thanks for watching.